What would you do if I told you your mare has a boat slip right on the intracoastal waterway, right off Canal Street, right next to the marina? And what would you do if I told you there were like 43 to 47 boat slips? Not little dinky boats, but boats that can fill in like the big boats. And what would you do if I told you um, that number you said you go to the utilities and yeah. they, they turn your power off and then they made then they charged you a reconnection fee yeah. and they took a deposit from you again? Yeah. It, you couldn't pay the bill to begin with. Right. So how did you get the money to pay back to get your power turned on? I had to borrow from You my had to mother. borrow from your mother. Well, what would you do if I told you that one of the commissioners of the Utilities Commission for New Smyrna Beach was a member of that yacht club. Excuse me, the Anglers Club is what it's called. And what would you do if I told you the mayor is a member of that Anglers Club? Waterfront property. Now remember, I explained to you that the loop is there. It's, it's a fancy name they're giving it for the CRA, which means a circle. But you know, you can't go on that property. You can't access that waterway. If you had a boat, would you ever even think of having a boat? Well, no, I couldn't afford one. Have you ever been on a boat? Yeah, when I was younger, yeah, when my uncle had one. And how expensive is it for you, like, even to go to the beach? Pay five bucks to go to the beach? Yeah, yeah. Just you can't to, afford just... the $20 a year? It's, it's no. Because uh -huh. even though it's cheaper in the long run? Yeah. Like, I remember we were talking about that a little bit. Yeah. And so, really, the only thing you can really afford in this town He's coming to Denny's, because the food's cheap, but it's really good. It's not McDonald's, it's not fast food. Right. And you see there's a lot of people, and if you can pan the camera, here we are two nights before Christmas, and we get a lot of you know people coming in and going. It gets pretty busy here. Yeah. So you're on your feet all day. <laughs> so to you, the beach is something that is something you can afford when you can do it, five bucks. Yeah. Um, is there anything else in this town for anyone to do that's enjoyable? <laughs> Oh, not that I can think of, no. And what would you do if I told you that, you know, the city's doing all this stuff, putting up Christmas trees and having choirs sing and, you know, putting all these fancies at, fancy ads in newspapers. What would you do if I told you that the mayor, his friend on the Utilities Commission, and about, you know, a few dozen other people, some of the most prominent people in the city, paid $25 a year for all those boat slips and a clubhouse that's there. And they have it for 30 years. That's not right. They should pay the same amount as if you had a boat or if well, I had a boat. Or... But Lisa, not to challenge you, but according to the city attorney, they signed a lease way, way long ago. And that, that lease is, is something that was agreed and the city has to go by it, although some people have challenged it. That lease was signed, now I don't know how, how long have you lived here? I was born in Daytona. You I've were born in Daytona? My, yeah, I've been here all my life. When, when were you in school? In the 1960s? Uh, 60, I was in uh, you, 70s. You're and talking about your kids. Yeah. 70s um, and uh, Do you remember, school. did you ever go to a school in Daytona where it was white kids only? Oh yeah. You, you went to a segregated school? Yes. In Daytona? I, yes. It was called... Uh, Even though you grew up poor, too? Yes. You still had it better than... Yeah. Did, what would I do if I told you that where T, where T lives on the west side, what would you do if I told you they couldn't join that Anglers Club, that blacks weren't allowed? In fact, they had it in their charter, no whites only. They had an article there was no women in there either. Yeah, I wrote that a couple of years ago when it was when it was all a big to I do. Just, I just, that's appalling. Now, have you you've been to in T's neighborhood? I'm sure driving yeah. by. Oh yeah, I love Mr. T to death. What do you think about the, the way the West Side looks? Do you think it's wonderful? No. But they're talking about how they have this um, they have this historic West Side area where they're fixing some streets and and uh, they just hired a lady who has experience in dealing with community programs. Um, what would you do if I told you that it seems like a lot of the focus is on Canal and Flagler, right? And, and I explained to you that the CRA is about rebuilding. Right. And, and trying to make things better. 
What would you do if I told you the CRA district, which is encompasses Canal Street, and it really the waterfront loop makes sense because it is the waterway. Right. Uh, the Canal Street area going up the bridges, covering Flagler, Third Avenue, and you know to the beach. Um, they put a million dollars plus for a hotel that they've been fighting over for the last four or five years and is still not built and may never be built. Um, they got the tree three years ago. What would you do if I told you in the last three years from what we've collected, the cost of that tree, including the purchase of the tree, putting up the lights, taking it down, has been about thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. That's ridiculous. Why? It's a tree. It's generating economic development. Uh, no. It's, no. it's not finishing the hotel. It's not, it's not improving. It's not bringing shoppers no. to Canal Street. No. Um, with that said, you have a mayor who has a, a, a second restaurant. You, you, could you have a dream of owning a restaurant? No. How far did you go in school? Uh, tenth grade. Tenth grade. And you had children at a young age. Mm -hmm. And not to get too personal, but did you have some kind of an abusive husband or? Yes. And so you raised these children by yourself. By myself. For quite a while. Oh yeah. So you grew up in a, you went to school in a whites only school in Daytona Beach. It was called Mainland Junior High. And what would I, what would you do if I told you that blacks or African Americans couldn't go to any of the beaches in Daytona Beach or New Smyrna Beach. They had to go to a beach on the end called Bethune Beach. I can remember when I was younger, mm -hmm. the first time I saw a black man, he was rolling a garbage can. And, and I had no idea that there were different people. And my dad was like, everybody's different. Not everybody's the same. What do you mean by I, rolling a garbage can? Back in the day, instead of the trucks, they used to have to roll the great big cans oh, up and no. down and the black, street. And black men would be and the ones carrying the garbage? The, the only white one would be the one driving the truck, and he would stop at the end of the street, make them fill the, and I mean, these cans were huge, and they would roll them. And they weren't allowed to talk to you, to do, um, the only time, I used to live right off of, it, it's called uh, International now, it used to be Volusia Avenue. Right. Second Avenue. In Daytona. Right. Had their own dentists, their own stores, their own, they weren't allowed on the beach side after dark. After dark, why is that? They, I don't know. I, I just, I guess because they were black. The only jobs they had were either janitors, garbage men, or maids. Well, let me ask you, let's, cut to, the, let's cut to the chase for New Smyrna because we're talking about the haves and the have-nots. When you look at the west side, you see all the churches and you see families. What would you do if I, t would you be surprised if I told you that the west side has the least amount of crime in New Smyrna Beach? Would you be surprised if I told you that? Would you be surprised if I told you the most crime-ridden part of the beach is on the beach side? No, not at all. That, that wouldn't surprise me. Because of the money. Right. So you have a mayor that says he's trying to make economic development his platform, but he has a boat right on the water, and he doesn't pay more than him and his friends pay $25 a year. It's whites. It, they don't have a, they have a, they took off the thing off their charter for excluding um, minorities. But to the date, it's still a white man's club and no women. How does that strike with you? And do you think that if that, what do you think he should do with that as the mayor of New Smyrna Beach? I think he should come to a stop because. What do you mean? He has a right to keep it. He signed, they signed a lease 50 years ago. Well, that, that's fine. He's the mayor. Yeah, that's, the fi that's fine. He's the mayor and he's a lease. But I was raised, there's three letters that qualify that. Go when ahead. you're in a white club, and that's KKK, and that's not allowed, and it's not acceptable. Did you grow up with that kind of experience? Yes. What was that like? Horrible. And you're white. Absolutely horrible. Because most of my friends were, were either Hispanic, black, oriental, and my dad treated nobody different. Everybody was human.